the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at YouTube channel and brand account terminations and what exactly that means and what you could possibly do about it. Right, so what happens when you try and sign into your YouTube channel or brand account one day and you actually encounter this particular page? Now, if you read through it, it actually tells you that if you've been redirected to this page from a particular product, that in this case, YouTube, it means that your access to this product has been suspended. Read on for more information. Right, the reason you have your access has been suspended, i.e. you're suspended from YouTube, is because it is perceived, that is, it is believed that you have either violated Google terms of service or YouTube specific terms of service, possibly the community guidelines, possibly copyright law, any other laws that are applicable, or just plain and simple YouTube terms of service, which are quite lengthy and oftentimes quite difficult to understand. So it, 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 this page is telling you that um, you need to actually go to the home page for each of the, the products in question, in this case YouTube, and then look for the links to the terms of service. Now on YouTube, that's right at the bottom, quite close to the bottom left hand side. Click on that and you'll be able to read through the terms of service that you have, it's perceived that you have violated. And then it goes on to tell you that Google reserves the right to disable your account access for investigation. Perhaps they want to make sure that they've got all the details before they take any further action. They can suspend you from using YouTube or even in, uh, Google entirely. So it, it could even be that your entire Google account has become in inaccessible. If the terms of service or the product specific policies are violated, in this case, YouTube, and also Google can terminate an account at any time for any reason with or without notice. Now, a lot of users have been saying that, well, I didn't get an email telling me what I'd done wrong. So therefore there is no reason. Well, the thing is, if Google dis or YouTube decide that you've, whatever it is perceived that you've done is so grave um, that they're going to terminate your, your YouTube channel or brand account, well, they're not going to bother t sending you an email saying, warning, warning, you've done something wrong we're about to suspend you, they'll just get on with the job. And that is why the notice that you oftentimes get is actually the, this page that you land on. So in other words, you have got notice, you've got this page. Next step for suspended accounts, if you believe your access to this product was suspended in error, contact us. And it actually gives you the page to the contact form. Now, if I click on that, it'll take us to the suspended YouTube channel page or brand account. So in this case, you would fill this form in and you would then proceed. Now, I prefer to take a slightly different approach. Instead of clicking contact us on the previous page down here, I prefer to actually go to YouTube, scroll down to the bottom where it says help, click on help, type in and open this in a, a new window and basically arrive at this page. The reason I like this is because the, the page that we were looking at was Google and it talked about a, 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 a Google product specific thing. This is the YouTube one and so this is the specific page that they've asked you to go and check out on. And you'll see that the type of things that YouTube get, are bothered about Com include community guidelines and obviously copyright terminations because that's a big deal. The nice thing about this particular page is that it also has a video which is quite helpful for checking up on the type of things that could get you suspended and your YouTube channel brand account terminated. And then it obviously has the option to to go to the same form that I showed you previously. If you feel your account has been suspended in error, you may, it may appeal the suspension by visiting the following form. And that'll take us to the same form as before. 
And here I'm going to ask you to fill in your first and last name, if applicable, and then the email address that you use to sign into your YouTube channel or brand account, i.e. your Google account's username. And then it wants an email address that we can use to contact you on. It suggests that you, if you still have access to the email address you sign in, this one here, then please re-enter it here. That isn't a, a suggestion, it is actually a directive. So in other words, if you have use of that email, please do enter it here, because otherwise it may not be possible to verify you as the person with the authority to find out this kind of information or to make an appeal about the YouTube termination. Right, then very importantly here, it asks for the URL for the suspended YouTube. It's really, really important to read the gray print here. It's forward slash channel forward slash. Don't use your custom URL, the one with C, because that is not YouTube specific or for that particular YouTube channel or brand account. It is actually this one here, the unique ID, which begins forward slash channel forward slash and then followed by random characters with UC starting it off. If you don't know what it is, and unfortunately it isn't readily available um, at the Google end, check uh, social media sites where you might have shared the links, check your browser, perhaps you've bookmarked it, perhaps it's in your browser history. Push comes to shove, you can always Google for your YouTube channel or brand account and see if the cached version has the URL saved against it, it should do. Then finally, before you uh, submit this, please briefly explain why you think your YouTube was suspended in error. Be sure to have first reviewed the community guidelines, or copyright policies, and obviously the terms of service before submitting your appeal. Don't waste your time saying, I woke up at six o'clock this morning to find my YouTube is, is suspended, what's going on? Make it, you know, make it count. Um, I, I'm not gonna put words in your mouth, but you know, do, do take time to review and then explain why you believe it's an error, not what it is, you know, you had for breakfast. I'm, I'm being lighthearted about it, but this is actually a serious thing. The better you formulate your appeal, the more succinct you are and the more precise you are, the better your chances are. Think of it, you're just one of thousands and thousands of users who use this form and the review team have to get through you all and have to deal with all of these forms. So obviously the more pertinent the information is and the more relevant it is to your appeal, um, the better. And one final consideration, now that you're ready to hit the submit button, remember you only need to appeal once. The review team will eventually get around to your appeal and wait times could be anything between four to seven weeks depending on how busy they are. But submitting multiple appeals, all it will do is lengthen the time that you will have to wait. Because if everybody does it, well, you can't imagine. If you do get a, a nonsense response, you should be able to sign in when in fact you know you can't, then that's when to reappeal. But if it's just because you don't like the answer or because you haven't had yet had a, an answer, then you will just have to wait or accept the answer you don't like because there is no guarantee that there has been a mistake. It may actually be that something you've done has been in violation of the policies, whether you realize it or not. So make sure that you get all the information correct and that you fire it off and that the response isn't this seemingly contradictory one. Thank you for listening and goodbye.